we don't need this um, so that we can cut it off. Turn on the Dremel. Simply cut through the edges. Here's a rattle, this little piece came loose. Okay, next one we'll do the video connector again for a Dreamcast. Excuse the couple of wires I had, I just connected those in manually some time ago. This is slightly more complicated than before in terms that we've got these pins that connect straight to the board. Uh, if you just cut these through, it won't lift off. So one of the things we need to do here, get rid of anything surplus like this grinding part, cut through this edge here, so I happen to know that that's what's connecting onto that and securing it through to this grinding. And it then come off easily. Start up the Dremel. Again, mind your fingers. And also, don't make this wave around and damage any That might do it. Move your fingers, always know where your fingers are when you do this sort of thing. And try to cut as flat as you can. Where a steady hand is very helpful. Turn off the panel, don't let it wander that thing moves, you can slice your finger off. Okay, get rid of this bit of rubbish, jiggle the board, off she comes. This sort of port is a little bit more complicated because you can't just cut through and hope for the best, but it's the same type of principle. We want to cut down as low as we can across both sides, again avoiding the board. This part will then lift off and we can pry the rest of this plug away from the pins. Um, never force, otherwise you could end up pulling up the traces on the pins themselves, which isn't a good idea. Let's start again. You start to feel when it's cutting through the metal. Do it in stages, and try and do it at one. cutting off more than you want. You don't want to go too far down onto the board because bearing in mind the Dremel is at a slight angle, um, it could actually damage it. So again, hold everything rigidly. Very careful, know exactly where your fingers are. Trying to through, just turn the speed up on the Dremel a bit. Need a bit more room. Hold of your panel because it does tend to slip. And so this slip is either going to hurt the board or it's going to slice through your fingers. Let's see what we have now. Wiggle this off, and there we have a little bit of melted plastic onto the pins. This is where the screwdrivers come in to use. Again, be careful not to damage any parts of the board, but you should find. If you put a little bit of pressure underneath, but not much. If you need to use too much, you need to remove a bit more plastic effectively from the old plug. And just lift a little bit here, a little bit there. And you'll be exposed with the pins, and as you see, none of them will come off. It's only a good idea at these sorts of stages when you get these rose pins, just cut them off. Use a wire cutter. I'll cover this anyway, and then you want to get access to the actual pins. But as you see, the plugs come off, it helps them damage the board. These are very strong. You can't just pry them off and hope for the best. You actually need to cut through each of those three prongs. Again, being careful with the components, especially on the other side. So, Dremel on full power. If you cut down as low as you can here, of 
for the Dremel. Now, if we move it slightly backwards and forwards, you know it comes away. That's just a bit of grinding, we don't need it. Bend it backwards and forwards, and as you see it comes off. And these can just be cut off with the wire cutters. Video plug, same principle as before. Cut it off through the metal posts, everything else will come off to illustrate. Moving a N64 game cart. The shielding here is adhered to the board itself. So first job is to remove the shielding. What you need to do here is to use a small screwdriver and push it away. Same on the other side. Give it a nice twist. There you go. And then move this backwards and forwards until the metal comes off. Okay, you now find that this will lift off with a little bit of encouragement. Put your screwdriver underneath that part of the board, lift it up, I'm twisting. Because what you're trying to do is to remove the plastic plug that's underneath. This then comes off, revealing these parts. You now need to remove the main port. Exactly the same way. In fact, even if it's not, you just look at that. forgotten about that trick. And there you go. To remove these, put your finger in, twist them up and down until they come off. In this case, the Dreamcast again. First thing, remove that. It's not needed. You're then back in the situation again where the grounding strip is connected to the board. These won't solder it in overly brilliantly, so get rid of the grounding. Put your screwdriver in, don't be too scared with this. What you want to do is to effectively lift this off. That's going to need a little bit more force. Wiggle it out. Now we've exposed one corner. Now use your pliers. to lift off this grounding. May look brutal, but it does the job. Again backwards and forwards. Doesn't matter if you damage the actual plastic on the port, it's coming off anyway. Okay. And nearly done. Give it a wiggle to weaken and break off the metal. And we're now with exposure to these little pins. You can use the Dremel, which is a good idea, except of course here you've got the battery. It would be a good and sensible idea to actually just uh, desolder this battery um, or remove it out of the way. Again, on the Dreamcast, they're not soldered in that brilliantly. You can easily pop it out and then pop it back. So we can either use the Dremel or we can go in here and snip the pins. Whatever you feel like doing. It doesn't make a shadow difference. What you're trying to do is just to dislodge these parts so that you can then take the board off. 